we've got an interesting project. I was given this ribbon holder that was already complete. It has all the hooks already in it. What I need to be able to do is be able to get it hanging on the wall. To do that, I want to be able to use the T-slot cutter and be able to put that in here. Now, without taking all these hooks out, how am I going to do that? Well, this is today's project. I'm going to show you how. The first thing I want to be able to do is mark the location for the T-slots to go. So we're going to take the tape measure, we're going to find the center, and the center of this piece is 24 inches and a quarter, so half of that is going to be 12 and an eighth. So with that, I'm going to make this where it's going to be a 16 inches. Most of the studs are 16 inches on center in the house. If it doesn't hit the studs, that's okay, this is going to be lightweight. But to do that, we're going to go ahead and measure from the center over 8 inches. I'm going to put a mark here. Come over here to 16 inches and put a mark. Then we're just going to take the square. I'm going to draw a line there. Same thing on the other side. Now then, that is going to be the location. The T-slot is going to make the circle. It's going to come in here and cut up in this direction. Now, I want to be able to measure from the center of this, and that's two and a half inches, so that's going to be one and a quarter. Same thing over here, we're going to measure that at one and a quarter. And that's where I'll begin my T-slot. So the machine is going to come and drill a hole right here. I want it just above the center line. And then it'll cut right up into this area. So that way when it's hanging on the wall, the screw that's holding it is actually going to be a little bit higher than the center line. So the next step is to get it secured to the table so that we can make the cut. Okay, the first thing that I did off camera was secured an auxiliary base wasteboard for my CNC machine. But if you notice, if I put this up here, it still is not thick enough to be able to get these hooks off of this original table. So to do that, I'm going to use a second wasteboard. Now if I put it right here, flip that over, then that gives me plenty of height to be able to make my cut into my project. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and secure that down to my table using a couple of screws. Okay, with that securely fastened, the next step, we're going to secure this to my new auxiliary waste board. Okay, with everything completely secure, I just finished using the probe to set the height for the Z-axis. I set the XY-axis to exactly where I wanted it, and now we're ready to carve. So the next thing is make sure my spindle is turned on. And we're going to carve this T-slot. And with that, the first one is done. Now I'll go ahead and reset up the machine to be able to cut my second one. And then I'll show you that process one last time and we'll be finished. Now that my, per my work piece is relocated, I've got it secured again. I went ahead and checked my X, Y axis and I just completed using the Z probe to be able to establish the Z axis. 
So now let's get everything out of the way and we'll be ready to carve. So I'm setting up the machine. We're going to turn the router on. Now then, the router is turned off. The project is finished. We're going to go ahead and move this out of the way. And just so I can give you full information, I am using the easel software using G-Code. So G-Code can be used uh, in the easel. Easel is the sender of that G-Code to the machine. So now then, let me get the router out of the way. And I'll go ahead and pull the project off of the machine. So this is a nice easy way to be able to put the T-slots into the back of a project when you don't want to remove all of these hooks that would be a real pain to be able to put back in. So that completes this project. Hey, this was a fun, easy project to do. It's a little bit different, so you don't see this every day. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video today. And please subscribe to my channel for future projects that we'll be doing. And again, thank you for watching. You guys have a good day. Take care.